More and more of the news about advances in space comes from private companies. And we're going to end tonight with a look at an ambitious new project that's about to take off, or perhaps we should say set sail. Here's John Blackstone. In a laboratory, time-lapse video shows a tiny satellite opening a huge sail that could carry it deep into space. T minus 10. Launched on a conventional rocket, the satellite will eventually be powered only by sunlight hitting a mylar sail. The spacecraft was not developed by NASA, but a nonprofit group of private citizens, the Planetary Society. Jennifer Vaughn is chief operating officer. Our mission is to empower citizens to do things in space. The Planetary Society raised $4.5 million to build light sail. Everything contained in this small box. Although solar sailing isn't necessarily fast when you get started, it's constant and never stops. You can actually build up the speed that you need to escape our solar system. Light sail's mission is made possible by a new generation of small, relatively inexpensive spacecraft called CubeSats, about the size of a loaf of bread. They're making space exploration affordable to universities and businesses. Last year, about 150 spacecraft this size were launched. Rex Ridenauer's company, Ecliptic Enterprises, built LightSail for the Planetary Society to test whether a spacecraft can be propelled simply by capturing light. Which has never been done in a package this big in Earth orbit, so that'll be a first. We really hope to kickstart a process where others now take the technology and make it better and, and really start pushing the boundaries. The test flight scheduled for early May will last just a few weeks, but eventually light sail could do what sailing ships once did on Earth, enable exploration of distant and mysterious places. John Blackstone, CBS News, San Francisco.